In this session, I'll show you how to convert column data fields into row data fields. So an example of that is, let's say we have a table like this, and we've got a column field here, a column field here. But this is not really a column field up here. This is basically uh, a data field. Because if it were really, really a column field, it would just be a generic category with quarters. And then maybe Q1, Q1 Q2, or Q3, Q1 would be under here in the designation. Having something like this makes it hard to do analysis because the column is doing double duty as also a data field. So we want something to look like like this in sheet two here, where we have the location, we have a segment, we have a quarter field, and it shows the different quarters, and we've got our values. So for example, we know that this was a unique record, this is a unique record, and so on. Whereas when we get to here, uh, this is not exactly a, a, a unique record here. Um, it's hard to be able to, to, to do any summing. It's more challenging to do any summing, uh, lookups, or, or pivots. So let's see how we can turn this into this. So let me go ahead and delete this. And we'll start from scratch here. What we need to do is create a key column field. So what I'm going to do is select that column, insert. And what we're going to do is concatenate these two values. By the way, this is this is a, a tip I learned from Mr. Excel, so I just want to give a shout out to Mr. Excel. This is a, a great tip that I learned from his site. So we're going to go ahead and type key here, and in the value here, what I'm going to do is concatenate these two cells. What it's going to be is that cell, uh, the ampersand is going to join it, and let's add a delimiter, someone to, something to, to separate it, and we'll just put uh, a colon. Uh, and the colon is in between uh, quotation marks and jo another join with the ampersand and we're going to join cell B2. Go ahead and press control enter and that, what that does is this keeps us in the cell that we're editing and double click this fill handle and bring it down. So now we have our little key here and what we're going to do now is we're going to, even though this is Excel 2007, we're going to use the Excel 2003 uh, wizard, uh, pivot table wizard, to create a pivot table. So I'm already in in the table here. I'm going to go ahead and press Alt D P, and it brings up the pivot table pivot chart wizard. Something you see in Excel 2003, but it's kind of not really uh, in the, the ribbon in Excel 2007. So what I'm going to do is select the multiple consolidation ranges, click Next. What we want to do is also uh, select the radio button for I will create the page fields, click next, and our range. So we're going to select this range from from the key here to the end here. We'll add it and click next and let's put this in a new worksheet. That's fine. So we click finish. So what it does is it creates a pivot table for us and it sums it up. So it really doesn't look any different from what we have here. We've got our key and our Q1, Q2, Q4, and that's what we have, but with the inclusion of the grand totals. But one nice thing about the grand total is if we double click the grand total here at the end, it's going to open up a table for us. And what this table has is the distinct values now. So let me go ahead and uh, expand this a little bit, select the columns, and just double click that to auto fit. And so what we see here now is we've got our key, the quarters in its own cell, and the values. So basically, what this could be is, if we separated this out, this could be the location and segment, our quarter field, and our value field. What we want to do to separate this out now is we're going to do the text to columns feature in Excel 2007. So what we're going to do is just insert a column here. And we're going to go to column A, go to data, text the columns, and the wizard will come up. So we have a delimited uh, value here. And that's going to be that. It's del these two values delimited by the colon. So we select that, go to next, and here we go. I did this earlier, so it kept that in memory. So the delimiter is the colon. So I'll go ahead and click next. And we can see that we got a data preview. This is how it's going to look. 
click next we'll just take the default general value and click finish now it's going to ask us if we want to replace the contents yes we do and there we go we have our row which is our location and our column which is our segment this column C is our quarter so which quarter is it and then our value so basically this is what we've done now we've taken this table and broken out taken the these column headings which were really data values too and made it into a table which separated out where we have our columns as fields and each of our rows is unique records so hope this helps thanks for watching